there are nine things which he mentions which are uh, not makru. Like we said, if a person uh, uh, has security that he won't break his fast, then for him to be with his wife forever, this is all permissible. For a man to uh, oil his moustache, yes, this is a reoccurring theme, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, maybe in his time they were keen of keen maybe on oiling the moustaches. Uh, anyway, the truth is, is just because of uh, a narration which Imam Shafi had regarding oiling the beard and the moustache and uh, that narration said that it will break the fast, that's why it's a reoccurring thing. Okay. Um, kohal, uh, cooping, fasad, fasad is just the old tradition of cutting you in, yes, and letting the blood out, don't do that at home. <laughs> Doctors do it, they, they co you know, basically what they do in, in, um, at the hospital where they put the, what do you call it, the syringe, yes, they put it and then sometimes they just take bottle after bottle after bottle out, yes, um, it's just that basically, but in the olden days they just cut the vein, actually cut the vein, right, just a little coat, not to kill you, but just a small coat and it's just drain the blood out, okay. Uh, obviously these things are not makru, uh, but don't try them. Wasiwaku uh, to do to brush your teeth at the end of the day, but rather this is sunnah, isn't it? It would definitely not be makru, even if it's wet, even if it's moist. Antimony, yes, that's the one. Yeah, that's the one. We had that in our Shmael Tirmizi as well. Okay. You should always look up these words. Yes, kohel we say, and then it become. And all they enter money. Right. To gargle and place water in your nose without it going down, this does not break your fast. To do ghusl, ghusl I mean just having a bath as well. Yes, it's fine, there's nothing wrong with it. To get a cloth, wet it through, yes, and just cover yourself up with it. That's, that will not break your fast and it's not makru. Um, just to cool down, 